Hey guys, this is Matthew. I'm gonna show y'all videos how you can fix your headlights if they stop working. Cause I looked up videos on this and there's not really a lot of people that show you. It's more of how to hook it up and stuff. So I'm basically gonna teach you how you can fix your headlights. I get golf carts and I take them straight to hell and I turn around and I fix what I did or what I break. So basically I break golf carts and I fix it. I know it sounds stupid, but when you get bored like me, that's what you think is fun. Anyways, so basically, the first thing I look at is in here. All right. So, this cord that I got with the golf cart, this is very thin. And honestly, if you get a golf cart and you want to, I'll get a thicker one of these because this broke here. I patched it here. It also broke right here. As you can see, there's not a red thing right here. I know it's kind of dark. And this fuse right here, there's a line inside that fuse. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it easier for y'all so y'all can see what I'm talking about. All right, so if y'all see that line in that fuse, see how it's not broke or anything? That means my fuse is good. Anyways, so that's good. And another thing you can also check is your switch. Now, first, I will go to here. Hold on, let me pull my flashlight. Alright, so basically, if you look here, I know it might be upside down for y'all, I'm sorry. That's where my switch is at, and you want to make sure them two are on. And you want to make sure they're on good. So them two are on good like that, then you're good. Oh, and also, I forgot to tell y'all. Let's see if it is your fuse or let's say you do got to patch this wire back up. Make sure your headlights are off because that shit will shock you. I figured that one out. Do not have your headlights on. It doesn't matter if your golf cart's turned off. That thing will still shock you if you accidentally forget they're on because your headlight's not working, so you didn't know. Anyways. Because this, I put the fuse back in and it shocked me. I put this wire back in one time and it shocked me. Just make sure it's off. Anyways. Now another thing you can do is while we're over here. Is you can also check the water in your batteries. I highly doubt this would be your problem. But you never know. It could be. It, you, you never know when you work on something. So. Let's take this bad boy off. Now there's coil. There's coils. As you can see. Them black things in there. You want to make sure your water is above that. Don't fill it up to the top where it's about to pour out and the cap's holding it. That's bad. Do not do that. Just make sure they're above the coils and you'll be good. And yeah. And oh, also I use the still water. Now I heard it doesn't matter what water you use. But that's just what I've always been told to use. So I use that. Anyways. And another thing y'all can look at is if that's not your palms, hell, just follow your wire. Like I like I showed you, your wire goes to here, and your wire runs down here. These two are the lights, as you can see, it follows on there. Because you think about these these wires right here, all they do is they follow to the switch. You already checked those; those are good. So you want to follow this. It goes all the way down. Is underneath the golf cart, as you can see, it's gonna keep going all the way up, all the way up, and then there's my dog, <laughs> always in my way. And if you're wondering where it's going, you should obviously know this, but I ain't judging nobody out there. It's gonna go to here. That is your headlight right there. There's the two wires right there. Now. As you can see, the black and the green is on this side. And the yellow one is going throughout the middle. So you still follow the yellow one. Then that's kind of hard to see. I'm sorry, guys. It's kind of hard to get the camera in there. Anyways, it goes out to the middle. And then it comes back on this side. If all them wires are good and they're not popped out or anything, then you should be good on the wires. Now, if your golf cart is still broke, 
and you, there's no problems there. The reason why I saved this one for last is because I highly doubt, highly doubt this would be your problem. But it could be possible. Maybe your bulb went out. And how you can tell your bulb is the same thing how the fuse. There's a line in the bulb, and if there's a broken thing in there, or broken line, something like that, that means your bulb is gone. Now, the reason why I saved this one for last, and I said I highly doubt that would happen, is because you should have at least one side of your bulb working. It's very rare for both sides to go out at the same time, but I mean, hey, it could be possible. So anyways, that's really all the tips I can give y'all. There's not really much to headlights. It's pretty simple. All you basically gotta worry about is one wire that's running through there and fuse and switch. And yeah, that's basically the most I can tell y'all. And uh, if y'all are wondering, okay, well, what if my tail lights ain't working? Same thing, guys. This wire, they all run up to the headlights. There's no... There's not really a wire that runs up to my tail light at least. But see, I don't really have brake lights. All I got is tail lights. So it could be different. But for this, that's really all y'all got to worry about. Anyways, guys, I hope I fixed your golf cart and I hope you got it. Bye.